How's it going, everybody? Uh, I am down at the barn here. I have a video to show you guys. Um, I'm trying to think. I think I shot it in, I want to say end of August. It was either end of August or beginning of September. It was around the time that uh, we were chopping sweet corn. And uh, the reason why we were chopping sweet corn is the corn silage unit was completely empty. So what we ended up doing is uh, we were just about done with sweet corn, so we'd go down and chop a load and just feed off the wagon. So uh, that's why we're feeding off, if you see in this video, feeding cows uh, when we're... Um, when we're getting the corn silage off the wagon. That's why we do it. Usually it comes right out of that silo off this conveyor into here, so. Anyway, I had the footage uh, for this video, um, like I said, end of August, beginning of September, and we just got into chopping and we got into, you know, combining and everything, and I just never posted it. So I figured now would be a good time. So uh, this is feeding cows. It's uh, feeding cows the old school way in the old tie stall barn. Uh, you'll see um, me pushing a cart and fork and everything. Uh, the way it's set up, you see we got four cows here, and then we have an opening and then we got the rest of the cows that go down this way it's the same on the other side uh the way this old barn was set up for anyone who's new to the channel um way 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 back in the day this is sits a this just sits a hair higher roof wise so this is where like the workhorses were and the rest of the animals were here and uh that's why it's kind of like that with the four cows and then opening here um the way the opening it's hard to tell on camera, but the way it kind of has a slight angle to the feed room, it just make it, it would make it pretty hard to uh, bring a motorized cart out. Ideally, you would want uh, that cow on the end to be like right here, and then you could like have, then you could just cover around on the end. Um, maybe someday, who knows? Uh, and uh, I say in the video, um, ultimately, it would be even better to. Uh, you gonna make a mess? She's taking a drink out of the water trough and dripping water all over the place. Huh. Gotta love it. Um, anyway, I say in the video, uh, it would be nice to have a motorized cart to go around and ultimately it would have been nice just to have a freestall and just drive a tractor or a cart down the front, but we don't. So anyway, enjoy this video. Uh, I know some people want to see more of the cows and to me, it's just kind of, we're in the point now where this daily routine here is kind of boring and it'd be the same video over and over and over. I don't want to do that. So I figured I'd show you guys this one and uh, do more uh, field review videos. So anyway, and then hopefully we'll be in the field again before you know it. So here you go, here's feeding cows. So this is the load we chopped the other day from the last video. Normally we park it out front, load it into a cart, but the milk truck's gonna come today, so I'm just gonna put a little bit into the bucket here. I already have a partial cart already, so I'm just gonna get one more bucket to throw in for the heifers.
Time to go get some haylage. Now they got their corn silage. get her haylage. <laughs> Tell her it's coming. It's Cutting lightning. Hi honey. Come here. Hi honey. Oh yes. Oh lightning. Hi bud. Hey honey. Hi honey. Seven, because she's got a backwards seven on her. Oh, hello, hello, yes. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Don't worry, gals. We're coming down. It's time to feed the calves. <laughs> nice job, honey. All right, go get the last two. Oh. 
job. Normally we don't do this every day, but uh, I see the hay racks were getting kind of low, so we're gonna take the loader and take a round bale out to, oh, my seat's wet. Get a round bale and take some bales out to the hay racks, so. So we're gonna climb up in the hayloft and throw some hay down because uh, we're gonna get some bad storms tonight. So we're gonna keep the cows inside. We don't wanna keep put them out in the bad storm. So we're gonna throw some hay down for them. Um, first thing I gotta do is go in the fronts of the cows and open up the hay chutes. Stay back. basically a day in the Thai stall barn. I mean, most things, the corn silage, that's a little different right now. Usually get it right out of the silo. Um, I didn't show the high moisture corn. I've showed that in other videos. Basically, that's right out of the silo. The protein grain right out of the bin. But yeah, that's basically it. Feed cows, feed calves, feed heifers. Man, car's coming. Stay right here by me. Call it a day. So that's basically uh, 
And then we got some extra stuff like taking manure out and taking uh, taking manure out and uh, taking the round bales out. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed the cows for everyone that wanted to see the cows. Give me a thumbs up. I'm carrying my muck boots right now, so I can't do it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Drop me a question or comment below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thumbs up to you. I totally appreciate it. Drop me a comment and I will, if it's a positive comment, I will definitely give you a shout back. Check out the t-shirt icon for Mike P7810 merch and I will talk to you next time. Have a good one, everybody.